Hey, Claire. Next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. Off-road, lots of lead flying. We'll take Beast. Want to try her out in the field. Nova. FYI, I'm already here. Perfect. Join you in a sec. Sounds good. See ya. V. Good to see you again. Got another race to run, huh? Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. So you'll have your hands full. You too. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so... Gonna wait in the car. Sure. I really thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Bully would have to ride shot. Ladies and gentlemen, get to Bully is a fantastic shot. Strap in and fire he is, up your he is. But he's talking. Three seconds Too and much. Counting. His mouth never. Hey, you! Ignore him. Luigi tries to get in people's heads. So next time you I actually me? don't make yeah. it, What's up? there's duct tape in the trunk. Just wanted to wish Just you saying. luck. Thanks.
well. Like, chance of the final well? Believe it. Why not just finish that? Best driver is better than I am. He was a good husband, an amazing wheelman. How'd he die, if you don't mind me asking? How do any competitive racers die? We reached the final last year. We were strong, out in front when. Maybe we should change the subject. Yeah. You want to lift to my garage? Find my own way there. Thanks. All right, see ya. How's Jake doing? He's easing into it, slowly. Needs a day or two to get up on his feet. I'm glad to hear that. You have my thanks, V. On behalf of myself and the entire family. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. <laughs> He's got the gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? <laughs> Why? What are we doing here? 
You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wish to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His mo- Other, the irony makes me sick. How you look is all in your eyes. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful. But the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumin Domo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need... I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half-decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, get more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work. I will watch your back. Now, get to it.
fucking worked. And? Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog. Needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What? Is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako Sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. Forgot five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. Let him... He's a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm. True. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Ultimately, to defend the well-being of my family. Cook! Louder! Louder! That is why I have decided to double the, the amount of our active city security forces. President Myers has called He eliminated the last the obstacle of between force. himself the and the complete power. The NUSA they and surrendered it to him. Tell me then, what do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that a not a... Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu. For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. 
Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorino returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. We must just climb up here. Why do you wait? This way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Antenna. Security hub is liable to be in that building. Transformer by the wall. 
See it? We should use it to step up. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. This is not bad. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Trucks drive up regularly. Are we to hijack one? Got eyes on the comm system. There's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kambiki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. <coughs> B. What? what? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine-looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanico. A bacchanico? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune can restore the dead back to life. Feline ghost? Suppose anything's possible. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Childhood memories. <laughs> Let's see. Hopping buildings, running away from badges, iron taste of blood from a split lip. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. What did they need kids for? To be corporate soldiers. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, 
I was given everything I lacked before, discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. All he had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world in a mindless way, yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists, as if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability, safety? The cheap 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that, too. We cannot fix everything at once. You already forget what happened at Tom's diner? People hate Corpse more than anything. Can't blame him, either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world, forget everything. Nomads aren't lone wolves with egos. Whether they're blood or not, family comes first. Yes, but we need not quibble over details. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki. We both have lost someone important, and we are not at peace with this, so we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally started to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse. You do not look so bad. 